Hey, what's going on, YouTube? I'm Jackson Taylor, and today we're going to be talking about the top five fruit trees to grow in the Arizona desert. Let's get started. The trees are going to be judged in the following categories that are going to pop up on the screen right here. Category 1, climate. So we're going to be judging if it's hot sensitive or cold sensitive. And that is our first category. Second category, how long does it take for the tree to get fruit? Third category, how much water does the plant need to be productive? Fourth category, how much fruit do they produce? Fifth category, how long does it, the fruit stay ripe on the tree? Sixth category, does the tree have any unique requirements? Seventh category, is this variety of tree available in the valley? Final category, can this fruit be dried or canned for future use? Now we're going to be judging all the trees in the categories we just listed, and they can get a possible 10 out of 10 score. So, and we're going to be seeing at the end who has the most points, and we're going to tally it all up, and that will be the best tree to grow in Arizona. Okay, so we're back, and for number five on our fruit tree list, we have the fig. So. Figs, they grow pretty well in Arizona, but they do need a lot of water. And right here I got a black mission and a tiger fig, and let's get right into the categories. So our first category is climate. They score a 7 out of 10 because they struggle with the heat, but besides that, they do pretty well out in the Arizona desert. And, I mean, they're doing fine right now. And yeah, just I, we give them shade, and yeah, they're pretty good. And for second category, we have small tree to fruit. So they take about two years. We give them a seven out of ten for this, but they take two years before they start producing enough fruit to get give to the family, and they do fruit pretty well but you need to watch out for the birds because they will just eat all the fruit and so yeah just short little opening but yeah you just take all the fruit when it gets ripe. So also for our next category we have water. We score this a 6 out of 10 because they they grow fast with water but without water they just start to die and so make sure you give them a lot of water because they'll start to just grow like weeds with water but if you don't give them any they'll just start dying until they're just dead so make sure you give them water so that they can stay healthy and grow so, and so yeah that's our water category for our next category we have the amount of fruit you can get so we score this in 8 out of 10 they have two crops a season but you need to watch out for the birds because they will literally take every little bit of fruit that's there in no time. So just get as much fruit as you can in a little bit of time. And yeah, so that's the fruit, the amount of fruit. So for our next category, we have how long does it the fruit last? Again, yeah, and that's a 3 out of 10. And again, they will, the birds will just attack and you lose all your crop in a little bit. So just, you have a very short window, but the second it turns ripe, grab the fruit and then you can eat it and stuff. So for our next category, we have unique requirements. We score this a 10 out of 10 because they don't really have any unique requirements. They're just normal. And you don't really have to worry about them. So yeah, no really unique requirements on these. You just have to make sure that they're they have enough water and yeah. So we also have varieties available. We scored this in nine out of ten because 
They can be found in most big box stores, but there's not every single kind of course. But you can you can now in like in the big box stores find like tiger figs instead of just uh, the turkey figs and black mission figs. So and that's basically all for that category. For our last category, we have can this be dried or canned. So yes they can and most people actually would prefer if they do. And we give this a ten out of ten because of because of how well they can be dried or canned. And most people will way more prefer a dried fig than an actual fig itself. And yeah that's basically all the all the categories we have. For a final amount for this, the figs, we score it a 60 out of 80 points, and yeah, that's a fig. Okay, so number four on our list is the pomegranate. So this is our pomegranate right here. It's already producing fruit, as you can see. And we decided to cut off, cut off all the bottom branches so it's more like a tree than a bush. It would be more natural if it was if we didn't but we want it to be a tree so that's why we did that so let's get right into the categories so our first category is climate we give it a 9 out of 10 because even though the tree do is not native to Arizona it still does really well so yeah that's our first category our second category is small tree to fruit we give this a 7 out of 10 because pomegranates take two years from a small one gallon tree to produce fruit. And so when they're small, so yeah. So they take a little while even after they're starting to grow. But once they, and this one may only produce like three fruit this year. But it's still, but once it's bigger, it'll produce a lot more fruit. So our next category is water. We give this a 9 out of 10 because pomegranates are drought tolerant and can withstand periods on no water at all. So they can be better with consistent water supply though. So our next category is how much fruit will it give you? We give this a 6 out of 10 because palms will grow small amounts of fruit until uh, they're full mature until they reach full maturity. So yeah, only like three fruit a year. But then once it's a massive tree, it could produce hundreds. But yeah. So our next category is how long does the fruit last on the tree? We give this a seven out of ten because the flowers come throughout spring. Throughout spring. So fruit will be in varying stages of ripeness when ready. So yeah, that's that category. Our next category is unique requirements. We give this a 10 out of 10 because it has no unique requirements. Stick in the ground, give it water, and you're good. So our next category is varieties available. We give this a 7 out of 10. They can be found in many big box stores and new varieties are becoming more available. Mostly you would find wonderful pom pomegranates as the most common variety though. So our next category is dried or canned. We give this a 6 out of 10 because they can be dried and saved as a crunchy snack. This is not common though, and, but you can eat this fantastic fruit in many different ways. So that is the pomegranate, and notice that it's only number four on our list, so we'll just keep going and see what's next. Okay, so number three on our list is citrus. Honestly, I thought this would be number one just because of how many citrus are that there are throughout the whole state. So, first, so we'll get right into the categories. So our first category is climate. We give this a 7 out of 10 because they're frost sensitive and also in the summer you need to make sure that they're covered or you let them grow out into a bush because it will burn the trunks. 
So, and that's that category. Our second category is small tree to fruit. So, as a, we give we give this a six out of ten. Citrus can take three to five years to fruit from a one gallon plant and up to 10 years from seed. But once they're super big, they'll grow into massive trees. So our next category is water. We give this a six out of 10. Citrus, once established, can be heavily watered once a week or so. And Okay, so that's that category. Our next category is how much fruit do you get from this tree? We definitely give this a 10 out of 10 because of how much fruit we get a year. I mean, at first they might not produce much fruit, but now they're producing too much fruit for my family. So we are giving them to our friends and other family members across the state. So that's the citrus that we have for that one. Our next category is how long does the fruit last? We give this a 10 out of 10 because it could last months upon months. And between varieties, you can almost have fruit have fruit year round if you wanted okay so our next category is so here are is our unique requirements we give this an 8 out of 10 citrus in the Arizona desert need to be on a tolerant rootstock citrus trees can live a hundred years if planted on the right on the right rootstock so be careful when buying and do buying and do your homework before you just go out and buy one. So our next category is varieties available. We give this a 10 out of 10. Citrus the most is the most accessible fruit trees in Arizona and can be found anywhere that trees are sold. So you could go to like Home Depot and then go to a nursery and I guarantee you there will be citrus there. Okay, so now our next category is dried or canned. We give this a 7 out of 10. Citrus can be canned or dried. It's not best in this condition in my opinion. We actually tried it once and it was okay but it's better if you just eat the citrus while it's on the tree so yeah and that's all of our categories we find we, when we tally up the scores we give it a 64 out of 80 and honestly this is an amazing tree i love it my family loves it it's just amazing and it's only number three so let's get deeper and deeper into the tree fruit trees in arizona Okay, so for number two on our list, we have the jujube. So, we have, this is our jujube right here, and we got it as a one, three gallon pot, and it's, we've had it for about a year, and it's already all the way up here. It's huge for a jujube, or any type of tree for, for that matter. And that's just one of our three jujubes that we have in our backyard. But let's get right into the categories. So our first category is climate. We give this a 9 out of 10. Even though this tree is not native, it does well here and requires little care, just like the pomegranate. They can be planted in the hottest part of your yard and still just do fine. Like, they're, they're just fine. And so let's get into our next category, which is small tree to fruit. So we give this an 8 out of 10. They will try to fruit as soon as they get leaves. It's best to wait two years. So even if they try to fruit, just kind of hack, hack it down like the flowers because it will kind of make the tree bend down and you don't want that at all. So just don't let it fruit for at least two years until it's big enough to fruit and that's that category so our next category is water we give this a 9 out of 10 jujubes are drought tolerant and can withstand periods on no water at all they will be better with a consistent consistent water supply though so let's get into our next category which is how much fruit will they produce we give this a 9 out of 10 most types 
types of jujubes will grow two crops of fruit a year. They can produce large um, and they can produce a large amount of fruit for you and your family. So, and that's the and now let's get into our next category. So, how long does the fruit last? We give this a 9 out of 10. You can get about 2 months worth of fruit on this 2 months worth of fruit on this type of tree. If you eat them green, it tastes like a sour apple. I actually tried it before it was ripe and it didn't taste too good. But then but once it gets fully ripe, it will taste like a date. And so if you want to get dates faster, that's, how, that's just how to do it. So let's get into our next category, unique requirements. We give this a 7 out of 10. Self-rooting, self -rooting, but will do better with cross-pollination from another jujube, which is kind of why we have three in our backyard, so they can all uh, pollinate each other, so they can grow their amazing fruit that they have. So for our next category is varieties available. We give this a 6 out of 10. These can occasionally be found in the big box stores, but, but selection can be very limited. So if you want to find them easier, you go to like Tropica Mango and Paxi Junction, Pax, Apache Junction, or in Green Life in Phoenix. So now let's get into our last category, which is dried or canned. We give this a 9 out of 10. You can dry them in any way you could an apple. And so you've had a dried apple, of course, and they taste amazing. So, yeah. So... This is the jujube. I think they're an amazing tree. I recommend to grow them. They're amazing. Now let's finally get into the mother of them all. So let's go. Okay, so we also would like to add some honorable mentions. First of which is a Barbados cherry. So it's not really like, it ta the fruit tastes good, but it wasn't quite enough to make the list. We also, of course, needed to include date palms. They're amazing trees, but they require a male, so that's why they're not number one on our list, but they're still amazing trees, and once they're fully established, they produce a lot of fruit, but they're ju they just require a lot of maintenance, and that's why they're not number one. Okay, we also wanted to include stone fruit on this list. So like apricots, plums, ap apriums, blueberries, any kind of stone fruit that we're putting on this list, uh, can't. That's why the reason why we're not putting them as one of the top tops is because one frost can cost you a whole season's worth of fruit, but they're still really good trees and they're amazing. So. Okay, so now we have number one on our list, avocados. So avocados do super well here. Just throw them in the, in the ground and you can put them out in the middle of your yard for all you care. They're just amazing trees. Just kidding, avocados are not that good. But they can grow here. So they're not even worth an honorable mention we just but they can grow here so if you want to grow an avocado you can okay so for number one on our list the real one the mulberry so mulberries are amazing trees we literally just got this thing from a stick placed it in the ground and then it took over this whole spot of our yard we got this from tropical mango uh, I'm not sure when, but it's just a really cool tree. So let's get right into the categories. So our first category is climate. Wait, 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 wait a second. Okay, so now let's get into climate. So we give climate a 9 out of 10. Even though this tree is not native, it does well here and requires little care once established. So. Once this thing got established, it just grew like a weed. So, 
Let's get into our next category, which is small traded fruit. We give this a 10 out of 10. Fruit's first year and is extremely fast growing. Uh, so yeah, this thing just grew like a weed. So yeah. So our next category is water. We give this a 7 out of 10. Once established, it can thrive on grass watering schedule. So yeah, just put sprinklers next to it. Feed the grass, feed the tree. So our next category is how much fruit do you get? It, we said 9 out of 10, but I feel like it should be 10 out of 10 because of how much fruit it produced for like a month or so. And it, it just produced a lot of fruit for you. So, yeah, but it just produces a lot of fruit. So some days you'll come and see some riper fruit that just falls off. And then other days you will find fruit like this that's still super green and some will just be white and some won't but then all of them will just become these white ones and you can just eat them off the tree all the time my mom comes out here every single day but stop we'll stop talking about that and get back into our categories so our next category is how long does the fruit last on the tree we give this a 7 out of 10. Fruit comes and goes quickly. Its season is usually less than a month though. So not very long, but it, it produces a lot of fruit in that amount of time. So our next category is unique requirements. We give this a 10 out of 10. Again, there's no unique requirements. I mean, it just grows like weed. So just fine so okay so our next category is varieties available we give this a 6 out of 10 these can occasionally be found in big box stores but selection can be limited to get less common varieties you could you need to go to Tropica Mango or Queen Creek Tropicals for starter plants or Green Life in Phoenix in Phoenix for more varieties and larger plants. So now for our last category, we have dried or canned. Dried or canned. So we give this a nine out of ten. They can they can be dried or canned easily and can put into jams and jellies. So we've never really done that though, but I guess you can do that. So yeah. Uh, for the final score on this one, we give it a 67 out of 80. And if you like this video, please subscribe, please hit that thumbs up button because we have worked really hard on all these videos. And thanks for watching and see you next time.